Alright guys, so this is my video on how to use redstone in stairways to enable you to get to higher places on your Minecraft maps and houses and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you five different methods that I've got here. Most of them are quite simple and you might already know them but I just want to cover them for the people that don't. So this is the pop-out staircase. Um, there you go, it kind of pops out the wall. It's quite hidden, it's quite discreet. I like it, it's quite, um, it's quite a nice design. Um, so my aim in this video is to get to the top and get to the diamond blocks. Um, so there you go, managed to do it on this one. So let me just show you the wiring around the back. Basically, the that's really simple. The redstone kind of goes round underneath the lever and comes out here, and then it goes up here, and then it goes over the top, and it goes over to the pistons. And these are all set up on different ticks to allow them to come out one at a time. So you just kind of like adjust them by right clicking on them. And there you go. So that's that one. That's the um, pop out stairway. Let me just pop it back in. So on to the next one. This is kind of this is the uh, piston zipper. Um, you step on it. And it pops you up to the top and then pushes you over. This bit where it pushes you over at the top is actually really useful because when you're playing on survival mode, um, it opens up below you uh, once you get to the top. And if it doesn't push you off, then you fall back down and you die. So that's a very useful feature there. So I managed to get to the top on this one. Um, let me just see if I can show you little bits of the wiring here. I can't show you much of it, um, it's quite hidden. But if anyone wants a tutorial on this one, I can do that separately. So if enough people send me a message or a comment, then I'll definitely do that for you guys. So, yes, yeah, so that's this one. Uh, okay, on to the next one. This is the um, three piston lift. Not because it's three wide, but because it goes up three high. So what you do is you step on it, pops you up over to the side. For some reason it doesn't go back down, um, but if you hit it again, there you go, it goes back down. So let me show you the wiring. Um, this one's got quite complicated wiring, it's definitely the, the most complicated of the three. So basically there's three pistons, one on top of the other, and then you've got this bit here. They are just set normally. Um, then you have one torch here, one torch here, three torches there, and these are set on two ticks. And then over here, this is set on two ticks as well, this is on one tick. And then you've got the piston there. So I'm just kind of give you an overview here so you can kind of pause it and try and copy it. So there you go. Just get the fly out here. And then this goes round here to the button. Okay. So over to onto the next one. Most of you probably know how to do this one. It's the minecart stairway. So what you do is you get you right click on the minecart and you hit the button, which powers the track. I'll show you when we get to the top. So basically what happens is when you press the button. It powers this track here, which makes it shoot off down. And these are all powered already by the torches. You need to put them there, otherwise they won't power and it won't be able to go up the hill. So um, let's get back in, see if it lets me go back down. Nope. Sometimes you need to push it back in. There you go. Now let me go back down. So that's this one. It's quite simple. You might want to leave a uh, chest here with minecarts so you can get onto the next one. So this is the last one. This is really simple. It's the easily the simplest of the two. Uh, five even. So this is the floating ladder. All you do is you step on here, box you up one, and then you can jump up. There you go. Um, then you go back down. So you need this bit because otherwise you can't jump. It looks like you can, but you actually can't. So anyway, they're, they're my five methods for today. Um, if you want more detailed tutorials on any of them, just send me a message, leave a comment. Goodbye for now.